folks, and welcome to another uh, modified toy review. Today we're going to be reviewing part two of my big line of modified toys. Uh, we've already talked about Mr. Fallout here, so we'll put him aside and never talk about him again. And we've also talked about C-3PO, so we'll put him aside. And we have these guys. So yeah, let's talk about them, starting off with number one. Number one is this guy from, I think it was like some game or something. Um, if you guys know who this guy is, leave a comment down below. But what the gimmick is, is uh, he was from, a, he was an old McDonald's toy, I think, uh, let me read. Um, he's from 2013, McDonald's property. Um... I painted him so he had puke all out of him. Looks he's like he's possessed. And here he's all cleaned up. And here he's all pukey and bloody. Ah, uh, yes. It's very good. It's one of my favorites. It's a nice painted one. Uh, you don't have to be sloppy with this one, guys. Alright, we'll put him aside and move on to the next one. At number two is, um... The uh, Madagascar toy from McDonald's, 2014, so this is younger than the other one we just reviewed. Oh, he's got blood coming down his mouth, and uh, he used to come with a blue fish. I threw it out because it was stupid. Um, his mouth opens, just kind of cool. You can put blood body parts in there and everything. It looks really cool, but yeah, not much about that. But, also you could use it as a pencil holder, I guess. Put your pencils in there. Uh, let's move on to the next one. This will probably be a short video, because there's really not much to talk about them. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to the next one. This one can't stand up as good. This is actually one of my biggest modify modifications. He comes with a weapon that I made. It's like a spear. But we'll put that aside. It's from a toy, like a wheel. It's a... Cool thing. Um, we made him like a Five Nights at Freddy's kind of animatronic thing. Uh, I don't know what I was trying to get out of him, but he's from Spider Man. Um, he's got a whole bunch of metal gears and axles and shit in his back. Um, he's missing an arm and he's missing a foot. Um, but he's got cool blood. He's got blood all over him. He's bleeding out. I got some of the metal stuff from a clock, which is pretty cool probably gonna call me and uh, the guy in Toy Story 2 or Toy Story 1 Sid after you see this video here's a head off of something for the play set here's some other metal parts here's his foot alright let's move on to the next one that's from Mexico it is this guy Fortnite action figure, you know, this isn't even my customization. This is... Oh my god. Look at how ugly it is on camera. Look at that. Now this is probably one of the longest things I'll probably talk about in this video. Oh my god, look at his belt! It looks like shit! It looks like a dog wiped its foot all over his belt. Pants! Look, look at that paint job! Oh my god! That is one of the ugliest things I've. And it even smells bad! It smells like bad plastic. Look at the paint job on that. <laughs> Just look at the bag. God, you might see it pink. But Jesus Christ, I think that I think the body's from an '80s figure. I swear, it's got to be from, or it's got to be from, um, like some some mold. It's probably from some mold. Oh my God, it's one of the worst. Like the like, look at the mustard. It isn't even fully painted. The tongue is the best part. The eyes are just fucking bad. Overall, it's an ugly thing to look at. The only reason why I got it was for 
20 bucks, and I don't know why I got it, but it's cool. It goes with my McDonald's room. And I guess it would be good, interesting to review something just stupid. They didn't even, like, paint that. Like, that, that looks bad. It just looks so bad. It's so rough. It's so, it's just so rushed. It feels like, it just feels like, like it's been rushed. Like, look at the foot. It just looks like it's been rushed. I can't, I don't have much to say about it. I went shopping in downtown of Mexico, and I got one of this, because I thought it was interesting. Ah, uh, yes. I'll put that aside, and we'll just get this Star Wars figure out. I spray painted this one brown, rusty brown, just to get the feel. And I put, I got one of these like Star Wars little guys helmets, and I put them on there. And I'm, and I got his gun, and it's a really simple build. If you guys want to do this, I sprayed him a little green too, just to make that that he's been out for a while, or he's been left. You know, I don't know. I, I guess it's, uh, I like it. If you guys like it, tell me in the comments down below which is your favorite in this video. It, it could be the things in the background if you really care. They're always going to be there. Um, But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. Uh, I have to say goodbye because this is it. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, comment, and like. And bye for now.